Okay, so we're back on a Raspberry Pi and we're going to go ahead and install and connect to Arduino. So we've already hooked up our Arduino uh, hardware uh, by plugging uh, it into the USB port on the, US, on the Raspberry Pi. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sudo app install Arduino. And this will install the Arduino that's in the repository for Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now I've already installed on this uh, on this Raspberry Pi, so so it should be pretty quick here. Uh, otherwise, it couldn't take you know it could take a couple of minutes to run, and you should basically get that um, prompt there. Okay, so we have it we have it up and running, uh, or we have it installed at least. So let's go ahead and close that, and let's take a look at the things we have to do to actually connect. So we're going to go to programming Arduino IDE. To open up Arduino. Okay, we're going to go to Tools to uh, make a couple of settings changes. So we're going to go to Tools, uh, and you'll see here Serial Part. This should say something like Dev forward slash Dev forward slash TTY USB. Zero, something like that. Um, sometimes you do have to reboot it if it's not connecting correctly. And if there are multiple options here, you might have to try a couple. The board I've already selected, so it comes as the default is Arduino Uno. Um, and uh, and in this case, if you just look on the box the Arduino came with, uh, you will see usually the chip that's there listed on the box. So in this case, it's the AT Mega, and select that. Okay, so now we're going to try to actually connect. So we're going to go to File, uh, and we're just going to get Examples, Basics, and Blink is the classic. So, so here we go. Blink is already saved. So when you uh, when you download a file onto, when you upload a file to Arduino, uh, basically it has to already be saved, and and upload is a connect is a is a combination of verify and up. So verify is the Arduino name for compile, so you're going to be compiling this uh, and then uploading. So uh, so if we just click verify, basically it's just going to compile a sketch. See that it says compiling. And then if we click upload, it will upload the sketch. Okay, so we successfully uploaded it, and if you notice here, if you look in the, at the, up at the corner of the video, uh, you'll see there is now a red light. That's the internal LED that just started blinking. So this was uploaded successfully, and it's now running on the Arduino. Once you upload a sketch onto the Arduino, so once you've compiled it and uploaded it, now it's stored, uh, it persists on the Arduino. So basically, if you unplug the Arduino, it will stay, and then the next time you plug in the Arduino, it will automatically start running. So now that this is uploaded, it, it's there. If we were to unplug the Arduino, then plug it back in, as I can do now. So if we were to unplug the Arduino, plug it back in, you'll see that once it boots up, it will immediately start to run that blink uh, sketch that was already completed. So now it's blinking. All right, if we were to, say, uh, say upload a different sketch, so notice that we get, say we save this, just a blank sketch. Let's say that we just saved this and then we uploaded a blank sketch. Notice there's nothing to it. Okay, so let's say we uploaded just a blank sketch with just the two required uh, uh, portions, void setup and void loop. If you notice now, once we uploaded that, the blinking stopped. Okay, so basically when you upload a sketch to Arduino, uh, only one uh, program, sketch they call it, a one program can be on the Arduino at the time. And basically once you upload another one, it bumps the existing one off. So we uploaded that sketch that's not going to do anything, and now we can go ahead and upload for our blink sketch. It 
compiles, uploads the Arduino, and now it's now it's on the Arduino. Okay, so that's how to install Arduino on your Raspberry Pi and get it running. Best of luck.